Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Haters attack Melania's parents for becoming U.S. citizens. Her response is perfect. I wrote earlier today on the terrific news that First Lady Melania Trump's parents became citizens yesterday. But what wasn't covered was how Melania celebrated the event herself privately. It must have been a very personal and wonderful moment for the family and I'm sure there was a big celebration over it after the media departed. But while the family was toasting the happy event the media and the left were still attacking Melania's parents, claiming they used chain migration and special treatment to obtain their citizenship. I don't believe that is true. Allegedly. When Melania became a citizen in 2006 she used her visa to sponsor her parents. It took them five years to get a green card and 12 years to obtain citizenship. That doesn't sound like preferential treatment to me. It sounds like they did it the right and legal way. Victor and Amalia Genaves, who are 74 and 73 years old, were happy and all smiles as they were sworn in yesterday. There was stepped-up security because they are the first lady's parents, but other than that it was a normal citizenship ceremony and very moving. They took their oath to support and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States of America. Cue the left to absolutely have a meltdown over the event. But Melania had the perfect response. Silence. As Victor and Amal Ijanaves left the New York City courthouse Thursday morning, they could not have been happier as new U.S. citizens. They live the majority of their lives under communist rule in Yugoslavia, today called Slovenia, and now they are part of the freest country on the planet. Can you imagine being free of communist suppression forever? The feeling must be incredible. The Daily Mail reported, Victor and Amal Ijanaves have been living in the United States on his permanent residence on green cards. They arrived and departed from a Manhattan federal building escorted by Homeland Security Police. As I stated before, their attorney Michael Wilds firmly stated that there was no special treatment for the couple. The application, the process, the interview was no different from anyone else's other than the security arrangements, he said on Thursday. They would appreciate their privacy and we just thank everybody for their attention for this very important dialogue we're having on immigration. This is an example of it going right, he stated. The Knaves have a home in Maryland. They stay near Melania and Barron to help out with their grandson. Their home is near his school. They just want to enjoy being Americans and be with their family. But the left is making it into something it is not and politicizing their wonderful swearing in as U.S. citizens. New York Times political reporter Ted Wesley tweeted, Melania's Trump's, sick, parents are now U.S. citizens and it might be thanks to the same chain migration Trump has said brings truly evil people. His attack does not surprise me or anyone else in America I would wager. The hate on the left on Twitter was off the charts. I won't even bother writing about it here. There is nothing threatening about Melania's parents. They are not a national security threat and they are not criminals. They are ordinary immigrants coming to America and we should welcome them with open arms and hearts. They are doing it legally and they are not sponging off the system as they do it. They won't cost taxpayers a dime and we don't have to wonder if they will commit crimes because of their background. I don't view this as chain migration. Chain migration is when an immigrant, who is either a citizen or a green card holder, brings over their entire family to the United States. They aren't vetted and don't undergo a background check. That is not the case for Melania's parents so the argument is moot. President Trump is right to oppose chain migration. Many of those immigrants are not vetted and they end up taking jobs away from hard-working Americans. They are national security threats. Melania's parents don't even come close to that scenario. And chain migration happens immediately when an immigrant enters the U.S. 12 years is a massive stretch for that claim. Trump wants the same system that Canada and Australia have where you can immigrate to the U.S. if you have something to offer our country, it's a merit-based system. He doesn't want them to immediately qualify for welfare and government assistance, so they would need enough money to support themselves. My son-in-law did, why shouldn't other immigrants? Melania was right to not even bother to respond to this form of attack against her parents and her family. Sometimes silence is the best response. It's not worthy of one. It used to be that the family of a president was off-limits. But the left threw that excuse out the window when Trump was elected. That's extremely hypocritical. Melania is not easily provoked and she is instead celebrating with her parents and her family as she should. It's private and emotional. Her parents are not political fodder. Every American should congratulate her parents on becoming citizens. It's not an easy thing to do and it is no small matter. We are a nation of legal immigrants supposedly and we are lucky to have Melania's parents join us. This is the home of the free and the land of the brave and they are welcome here. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like 
and subscribe. Thank you.